To use S Pen on S24 Ultra, let's start by releasing the pen. To do this, you need to click and release this pen at the bottom left hand side. And once it's released, we can pull the S Pen out of its chassis. So from here, you will now see a pen icon on your screen. There may be a tutorial as well, just quickly skip through that. You cannot tap the pen icon with your finger. It can only be tapped with the pen itself. And once it's tapped, you may see a tutorial showing all of the air actions which are available. I'm going to cover it all. So just tap this arrow to hide this. What's important are these quick toggles right here. So first, let's tap on add. And we can see we have the S Pen features and we have apps. So let's add these S Pen features to our S Pen like this. If you want to remove a feature, you can tap the minus to remove. You can also add an app to your S Pen, and so that will just help you quickly launch the app. So I will add the calendar so I can quickly launch it. So when we tap the pen icon now, we can see all of the options we have added right here. And I'm going to go through each feature that you have on the S Pen. So Smart Select, if we tap this one, this is a screenshot. So you just drag and drop with your S Pen and this will select part of the screen and it's going to take a screenshot of that. You can extract the text from the image and you can save the image and edit the image. This here allows you to share. And so we'll tap the save to save. If we go back into this menu, we have the screen right. This takes a screenshot of your screen and allows you to quickly annotate your screenshot like this. You can drag these borders here to change the size of your screenshot. And then we'll tap on save once we're happy. We then have the create note option. If we tap this one, it's going to open you to the notes app. And here you can create a new note. You can also, if you want to, I'm going to close out of this, to create a note without tapping this S Pen icon. You see on the pen, there is this button. While long pressing the button near the screen, so we're going to long press and double tap. And there we go, it's a little bit finicky there. I'm going to do it one more time. So long press, double tap. And there we go, you can see we can quickly go in the notes app and create a note. You may have noticed if I tap the home button, we see the notes app like in the middle of the screen. So you can drag this around if you just want to be able to quickly open the notes app regardless of where you are in the operating system. And you can tap to open again. If you want to close out of this app completely, tap the blue bar here and then tap the X. The full screen icon will bring the app into full screen as well. Many things on your Samsung, you see a menu option and you may not know what it is. If you hover your S Pen over an option you don't know, it's going to tell you what it is. Just make sure you are close enough, otherwise it won't work. So you do need to be quite close and you can see what each feature does. So I'm going to close out of this one. And if we go back in the view notes button, that will just show you all of the notes you see. 
we then have Bixby Vision. So what Bixby Vision does is if you hover over, let's say text, or an image, if we tap the image button, it's going to show us what that is. So I hovered over the Play Store, and if we tap Show Results, it should show what this is. So this is the Google Play Store, and it has identified that. If I tap on the text button here, so we'll hover over again, we'll tap on the text. You can see it will extract the text from the image. So it's found the two and the play store, and you can quickly copy it right here. If I go into the camera and I just hover over my face, we go to the image search. You can see it's going to search, search is, I think it's searching killers, but I'm not a killer, but you can see it's searching pictures of faces to look similar on the internet. And if we go here, we have the translate tool. So the source language, this is the language we're translating from. So we will choose English and then the target language, the language we're translating to. So we'll just do the first one here. How this works is you hover over text like this, and you can see it's going to translate it to the target language. So you can see right here. So gallery, gallery, and you can play it out gallery. as well. Google, the same, store, Winkle, and if you tap on the text, it will bring you to the translator itself. So let's do that again. There we go. And it should process the text in the Google Translate app. At the top here, you can switch between having you know, the source language to target and vice versa. So you will need to use your finger for this. See the switch. And you have an arrow here to change the source and target language. You can hide this by tapping the arrow here. And you can close out of the translate tool by tapping on the X as well. Right on calendar is exactly what it sounds like. So let's go back into it. It will open the calendar app and then you can annotate and you can save the changes if you want to. Pen up. This is an app shortcut, even though it's under the S Pen features. Pen up is an app which allows you to draw over existing images. So let's say this image here, you select start coloring. We could go in and we could color over the image if we wanted to. It's a little bit awkward to do on the S24 Ultra as it's a phone, but it definitely is possible. I've never used that app ever, other than when I make these tutorials. Magnify. What this does is you have your S Pen over the screen and you can see it's going to magnify what is hovered. If we tap the zoom, we can change the zoom amount. Boom, increase the zoom. And if you tap the full screen, you can see it's going to increase the size of the zoom. So the zoom window like this. And when I tap the full screen, it will increase the size. And again, tap the X to close out of that. We then have our calendar shortcut. And now let's move over to the air actions. So if we tap the pen icon here and we go to the settings, we should see here air actions. Make sure this is turned on. So the first air action is if I see the S Pen here, you see that button. If I long press the button and I'm not close to the S24 Ultra, so this is close, this is far away, I'm going to long press the button. And you can see it's going to open up the camera app. 
So inside of the camera app, if I wanted to take a picture, I can tap the button, but we can also click and release the button on the S Pen. So click and release, and it's going to take a picture. If we swipe to the left and right, and when you do this, you do need to hold down this button. So if I swipe to the rest, uh, left, I'm going to hold and swipe. You can see we can switch between the camera modes completely hands free. Okay, so I'm just swiping like this. If I double click the button, so click, click, you can see it's going to flip the camera. And so you can see it's going to uh, use the rear camera now. And if I double click, it's going to flip to the front camera. If you do a swipe up or swipe down, that will also switch between the camera modes as well. There's also a loop-de-loop -loop over the air, so it looks like this. So if we hold the S Pen while doing the loop-de-loop, -loop, you can see we can change the zoom. If we go the other way, we can increase the zoom. I uh, question its practicality, but it is something that does exist. If you're watching, maybe you know you've processed this information, but you may forget it. At any time, if you hover over this S Pen icon, it will show you what the air actions are and how to use them as well. If we go to the lock screen like this, oh, go to lock screen and we long press this pen button and then double tap. So long press, double tap. You can see here we have this right option. So without unlocking the phone, you know, you can annotate here. To erase something, you need to long press the pen button. And while holding down the pen button, you can use that as an eraser like that. Let's change the S Pen settings. So if we tap the pen and we go into the settings, air actions, if you don't want to use them, you can turn them off. If you need to do something where you're near the screen and you can see that little pointer, that is not an air action. The air actions are the stuff you do far away from the phone. Air commands, if we go into here, if I tap the pen, this is the command area. If you think this is too big, you can tap compact and it will just make this view more compact like this. If you want to change the shortcuts, which are in the menu, tap the shortcuts and then you can see all of these options here. Show air command icon. So this is the air command icon here. You can go into the, this menu without tapping the icon. However, if we hide this, you must turn on open air command with pen button. So if we turn this option on, we can go into the menu without tapping any buttons. Instead, bring your S Pen near to the screen so you can see the cursor and just click release the S Pen button and you can see the menu shows. If you hold the button, it won't do anything. So just click release and we'll be brought to the menu. We then have S Pen to text. This, if we go to a search bar, you can use your S Pen to write on the search menu. So a little tutorial here, teaching me how to write. So let's try again. And you can see you are able to write out text like that if you want. And if you tap the keyboard, you can bring up the keyboard. And if we tap here again, we'll be brought to this menu. If you tap with your finger, it will bring up the regular keyboard. Uh, I personally have never used this S Pen to text feature, so I'm going to turn it off. But if you find it useful, leave it on. When S Pen is removed, so S Pen, it's regularly in your phone, 
it's inserted. If you remove the S Pen, which you're just taking it out, you can have it do an action. So we could create a note. So if we put the S Pen in, and then we take it out, you see it's going to create a note. I personally would leave this off, but if you find a use for it, you can leave it on. Screen off memos, that is the thing where if the screen is off, we can long press and double tap to edit the note that was covered earlier. You can see like that. Quick notes, already covered that shortcut. And under more S Pen settings, this stuff here, Warn if S Pen is left behind, I'd recommend that's on. So if you leave your S Pen and then you walk off, it will annoy you. These other settings, I don't think they have any points. That is the S Pen tutorial.